like we calculate the elasticity of demand the formula that we use for it the same formula is used for calculating the elasticity of supply elasticity of supply is generally denoted by e of s we write e and in the subscript we write s so what is elasticity of supply elasticity of supply is nothing but percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price it is denoted by percentage change in q upon percentage change in t q denotes uh, q denotes quantity here and p denotes price here elasticity of supply is also calculated with this formula and this formula in turn has been derived from the upper formula that we've done percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price the important thing to remember here is the elasticity of supply is always positive is always positive and if you go back to elasticity of demand you'll remember that elasticity of demand is always negative however we ignore the negative sign but the elasticity of supply is always positive now why is it positive because there exists a direct relation between them as price increases supply also increases as price decreases supply also decreases so when the price decreases so there is a negative change in price quantity supplied also decreases so there is a negative change in quantity so negative divided by negative again becomes positive and we know that positive divided by positive is always positive so in either case the answer of elasticity of supply is positive now let's try to solve this question if the price of apples rises from 30 per kg to 40 per kg and the supply increases from 240 kgs to 300 kgs what is the elasticity of supply now let's see what is the original price here it is 30 what is the change in price here it is 40 Minus thirty, which equals to ten. What is quantity? The original quantity. Original quantity is two forty. What is change in quantity? It is three hundred minus two forty, which is sixty. And elasticity of supply is nothing but. change in quantity upon change in price into price upon quantity so here if we substitute the values it is 60 divided by 10 into 30 divided by 240 This gets cancelled. This equals to zero point six seven. So the elasticity of supply is zero point six seven here. One more question. 
If a 20% fall in the price brings about a 10% fall in the quantity supplied, then the elasticity of supply will be equal to. We know that elasticity of supply is percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price. The percentage change in quantity supplied here is minus 10 because it is falling by 10%. So percentage change is minus 10. And percentage change in price is minus 20. Again, the price is falling. So there is a negative change. However, the minus minus gets cancelled and the answer is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5. So we can say that elasticity of supply in this case is 0 0.5. Now, please note that in the last question, I used the formula change in Q divided by change in P into P by Q. And in the current problem, I used the formula percentage change divided by percentage, oh sorry, percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Please bear in mind that both the formulas are same. But for our convenience sake, depending upon the problem, we choose the formula. Where in the problem, we are directly given the percentages, we take this formula. But where in the problem, we are given figures, we choose this formula. This makes our work easier.